So I'm, I'm going to take the Soil Raise Line drawing board, remove it, and move in with the Draftsman. This is from APH, and it's got that uh, that film. I just call it their film, but I, I truthfully think that they purchased this film um, elsewhere, but that's where it's available from, and you can get it on federal quota money, so hey, why not? So again, I'm going to, just, just because, just to be a little different, I'm going to pretend that we want to do a whole bunch of squares. Now again, this isn't very realistic. You don't just sit there and, and do a jillion squares usually. Uh, usually you're, you're, you're creating one square to do, do something with. But just to, just to show you that we can do that. Again, um, students going to have to really keep their hands out of the way. But, uh, and, you know, and, and in fact, instead of using the ballpoint pen, which I could, I'm going to start with that stylus because I really like the stylus that comes with it. And you've got that same technique. But let's just try it. Okay, we did that one with the stylus. Let's do this with the ballpoint pen. And then we'll look at these later, see if we can tell, tell the difference. Okay, there's the stylus one. And now let's do this one with the ballpoint pen. And let's do this one with the stylus. Let me get my hands in the right place here. And I haven't done them all, but let's just see. Now, depending on the person that's uh, looking at this, in, in the sense, you know, it's, it's how it feels tactually. But, you know, I really like that stylus. But you can also use a ballpoint pen because these things uh, tend to disappear. But, again, whatever you've... And, and uh, by the way, are you noticing that I am not turning this over? Everything is raised up on the on the draftsman. That's what's so nice. You write on this side, and the tactile image is on this side. So you don't have to flip the paper over. Uh, and let's suppose we wanted a circle right in the middle of that square, and that happens sometimes. Let's see if we can get a circle right there. Wish I had one that would would actually uh, uh, hit the sides of this square, but I just don't have to happen to have one. Let me see. Well, wait a minute. Let me see if I can find one now. Well, Oh my, I'm trying to find one that the, the side actually fits perfectly, but I, I think I may be out of luck finding that exact one. That's all right. We'll just go ahead and draw a circle as much as we can in the center of this. Again, using the stylus this time. And over here, I'll go ahead and use the, the uh, ballpoint pen. But again, it's, it's something, you know, you need to ask your student. Ooh, because that feels kind of neat now. It just, it really, it, it's really uh, the user that needs to decide which they prefer, etc. But again, just using something as simple as a stencil and from, from the math teacher, or if you need your own, you can just go out to one of those uh, math uh, catalogs or online stores, etc., and uh, get your, get your uh, stencils and whichever drawing board you prefer and draw all kinds of geometric figures. That really is all there is to it. Uh, again, you could use just a rubber pad on a hard surface. You could use uh, some funky foam on a um, clipboard, whatever is going to, to do it for you. And some the other simplest tools is a ballpoint pen, or in the case of the Draftsman, the stylus that comes with it. A stylus usually comes with the uh, Sewell Raised Line drawing board as well. And uh, just to let you know, Everything is interchangeable. So let me just show you another little trick. Um, in fact, the last time I did a workshop, um, I had the person that was sponsoring it buy all of the participants a Sewell Raised Line drawing board. And I, I was going to tell them, as, you know, in fact, I said, let's look in your box and find what I call the funky paper that comes with it which is plastic sheets for Sewell Ray's line drawing kit. And those were the ones that, in my opinion, were, were kind of on the, the flimsy side. And guess what? It didn't have that in it. It had the nice film that looks exactly like the film that comes with APH. So I'm thinking that maybe uh, the Sewell, the, the people from there decided to uh, change things. I just, I'm not sure what happened. But anyway, so now you have got, let me see, I'm going to do the squares because I did the squares on the other one. So now you can actually, you can use your ballpoint pen or your stylus.
and you, guess what? You can do the exact same thing on your soil raised line drawing board that you do on your draftsman. So then that got me thinking that, because uh, uh, I've said before that I hate to stab my draftsman, but I can, uh, I can stab my soil raised line drawing board. So I might just start using this uh, film on my soil raised line drawing board. Anyway, it's wonderful as far as I'm concerned that we have so many choices. 30 years ago when I first started out, we did not have choices. Sometimes we didn't have anything at all, much less a choice of something. So uh, I think this is all wonderful now that, that we have the dilemma of picking out which we like best. And your student has that same dilemma. And as far as I'm concerned, that's one of the best dilemmas to have. So please go out there and draw a whole bunch of geometric figures and have fun.